Chapter 1355, Colossal Immortal Blade. Li Kai stopped watching Ryu Ian and turned to Jia Shi instead. What kind of legacy treasure do you want? Her gentle voice and mature bearing could cause people to sway. It was like a quiet train cleansing everything in the middle of spring. She replied, I'll want whatever you think is best. Li Kai smiled and continued to maneuver his ship forward. Eventually, they reached the skeleton that they first saw after entering this region. It was a humanoid giant with a giant sword in front of him. From afar, he already looked monstrous in size. They had no choice but to look up as they got closer, but no one could see the top of its head. Anyone would feel as insignificant as an ant before such a giant, regardless of their status and ability. Li Kai asked Giant Shai while looking at the giant, Don't you need a giant axe? She replied, I initially wanted to make the myriad earth axe my true fate weapon, but it isn't very suitable. Li Kai smiled and continued, A cultivator does not necessarily need a true fate weapon, and an immortal physique user is even more special. Some of them do not have a true fate weapon at grand completion since they refine their bodies into unique weapons. Some refer to this phenomenon as an immortal physique weapon. Of course, there are those that think this type of art is considered part of the foreign Dao. Giant Shai could understand his comment because her three schools had such weapons. For example, Ryuian's evil immortal cauldron was an immortal physique weapon. These weapons were able to combine their power with the appropriate physique user and increase their battle effectiveness. Li Kai pointed at the great sword and said, Many god kings have thought about obtaining this weapon. They all knew that it was an incredible artifact but remained unaware of its origin. This sword ahead might be the biggest blade Giant Shai had ever seen. Even though some treasures could grow as large as a galaxy, they were simply illusions or avatar forms, their true size wouldn't be that large, unlike this sword. Only a divine sword of this size was worthy of being this giant's weapon. Li Kai explained, the name of this sword is the Colossal Immortal Blade. Its value and power are not weaker than any immortal emperor true fate weapons. Its mysteries far exceed what you can imagine. Giant Shai mused his response, but despite her efforts, she had never heard of this name before. As a schoolmaster, not only was her cultivation powerful, her knowledge was vast as well. However, the tales of this sword eluded her. Don't think too hard, it would be amazing if you were to know about it. I'm afraid no sect in this world has any records about this sword that belonged to the colossal immortal race. After seeing her puzzled appearance, Li Kai laughed and gently shook his head. The colossal immortal race? You mean to say there were real immortals in this world? She had never heard of this race before and was startled. Li Kai shook his head again, it's hard to say if there are immortals in this world, but this race definitely aren't immortals. They are too ancient to be traced as their origin is even older than the charming spirits. Having said that, he stared at her then the giant with his profound eyes and continued, a mighty race capable of looking down on all others still couldn't escape destruction in the end. This existence in front of us is comparable to immortal emperors, but death was still the final outcome. An existence comparable to immortal emperors? She was shaken once more after this terrifying revelation. How can such invincible existences die in this place? Kai and Bai couldn't believe it. Nothing in this world could compare to immortal emperors. But one of them was dead right here. This was beyond his imagination. Li Kai looked at the contemplating old man and answered, it was an unbelievable war. This race was unbelievably strong. They lasted until the very end of that war during their era. Unfortunately, they failed in the end and faced genocide. This great existence before you was no exception. Such words made the two listeners shudder. Such a powerful race was still massacred? Just who were they facing? How invincible was this enemy? They had a hard time calming down since they couldn't envision the power of this foe. Li Kai pointed at the sword and said, This sword suits you. It is better than your myriad earth axe, especially if you can refine it. Your sacred spring physique offers unlimited blood energy. So with this sword, you will be able to meet God, slay God, meet devil, slay devil. Kai and Bai stared at the sword without a tilt in sight. He had personally witnessed giant Shaolin this blood energy. If she could wield this sword, her empowered slash would be unbelievable and more than enough to destroy a lineage or even the race. Perhaps even the dragon demon sea would be split into two. Giant Shai's heart started to beat faster while looking at the sword. It was indeed suitable for her immortal physique. She understood the strength of this type of weapon due to her axe. Obtaining this sword would raise her fighting power by several levels instantly. It's yours if you can pull it out. He grinned and said, This is a test for your physique. Can it support such a huge sword? There was no doubt that this sword was amazing. However, not just anyone could use it. It was one thing to be strong enough to lift it, but to treat it as a weapon was prohibitively difficult. Just swinging it a few times could squeeze a paragon dry, and using it effectively in battle was even worse. Others would find it impossible, but this only stimulated her desire. After all, her physique had a unique advantage. Even a god king might not have more blood energy than her. She could surely sustain this sword with her circumstances. Eventually, she took a deep breath and leaped forward to land on the giant's feet. Then she began to climb up its leg. She looked exactly like an ant. Just imagine, an ant climbing up a gigantic pillar. This was no easy task. However, she was quite fast and made her way to its wrist by jumping. The giant's hands were gripping the hilt. They looked like two mountains holding up another mountain. It was easier said than done to pull out such a great sword. Her inner physique emerged with her soaring blood energy. At this time, her palms turned gigantic and firmly gripped the hilt. Up you go. She shouted under the support of her endless rampaging blood energy. However, despite assaulting the land with her fury, she still couldn't pull it out. Nevertheless, she didn't give up. Her energy soared for a second time and her inner physique turned incomparably bright. It was several times greater than the previous time she activated it. She was determined to obtain this sword no matter the cost. 
Li Kai watched from a distance for a bit before smiling and sailed his bone ship away again. As the boat slowly floated away, he turned towards Kai and Bai and asked, What kind of legacy treasures do you want? The old man sitting on the deck regained his wits and dryly smiled. I'm very grateful for your guidance, but I am only an ant. I can't compare to the island lord or the schoolmasters, so I don't have any foolish wishes about these legacies. Following you here and obtaining these eight eyes is more than enough for me. Kai and Bai knew his limits. Although there were many treasures here, he wouldn't be able to obtain anything with his weak abilities even if Li Kai could show him the way. So he simply gave up. It's a good thing to know when to let go. Li Kai smiled and didn't comment further.